Du <laughs> tør. Common ground. Common ground. Komme. Komme. Welcome to Berlin, everybody. Hey, I mean, you're here. It's great, great to have you. Berlin uh, has been treating us well so far. Yeah, I heard you went to the Heimbach. Yeah, patch point, Heimbach, Verbos. All the Koma, classics. Yeah, all yeah. the classics. The Berlin experience. Totally, totally. <laughs> this is our little shop here in Berlin. It's part of our... Uh, uh, from our workspace. So this yeah. is where we work. This is where we uh, try to show whatever we make. Uh, this is where we uh, sell DIY kits, so people can come here and build stuff at any time. Uh, yeah, that's just maybe we should. Just I think out in. of all the people we've seen so far, you win the most points for the likes. Ah yeah. <laughs> well, you know, if you have a, if you have it, flaunt it, right? <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, so this is our shop here in Berlin. Um, it's, like I said, it's part of our office. So in the back we work, uh, we build all the coma gear. And here in the front uh, we organize shows, we have DIY kits, we have a lot of um, um, interesting synthesizers, of course, like a bunch of Russian synths, like this really weird Russian style uh, it's got the yeah, Juno 60 colors, exactly. Juno 6 look. Yeah, exactly. So The 101 keyboard handle. Yeah, and, <laughs> and it literally weighs 15 kilos. So it's ridiculous. <laughs> it's like it's definitely not a guitar. Are these new um, cases? Yes, these are the new Coma cases. Uh, also with the new uh, Coma Strom power supply. This is the Strom Plus. So you, uh, with these LEDs, when they turn red, you can see if you used up all your... Uh, current or not. Ah, uh, that's useful because that comes up so much about I don't know whether I'm taxing my power supply, I don't know if that's where the issues are. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So you know exactly how much you're using and you know once once you're running out the module will let you know and then it's time to buy another one, you know. And are these expandable by yes. the looks of the both the cases and the power supplies are expandable. So with these wooden side bits you can you can uh, add new, stand yeah, exactly, add new standouts, or you can go also around the corner and go up and up and up. Um, so all the yeah, the cases are expandable, and also our power supplies are um, expandable. So that means that uh, with these connectors, you can daisy chain them between different cases, and uh, you know, as long as you're uh, you still have juice, you can use it in any case you like with these little passive modules here. Yeah, great. What's, uh, I've never seen a TV in a hi-fi before. Uh, me neither. Uh, I got <laughs> it as a Christmas present this year, of a, as a birthday present actually, from uh, Huron, David Foster, or Amok Tape. Yeah, okay. Uh, and uh, he said, here, there you go. And it still works. Um, oh, so wow. We just wanted to do some <laughs> modular vi uh, video synths on it uh, in the future, but for now... It's just looking pretty here. Is this a drum machine? Yeah, it's a Formanta uh, uh, drum computer from also Russia, uh, Soviet times. I believe it was built in Latvia, when I'm correct. Okay. And it has a bunch of really weird presets, and you can change all the voices and trigger them separately. Uh, we have a friend who's in Russia, and he brings us a, a, a ton of music. A new Russian so. synth every time. Yeah, pretty <laughs> much. Yeah, that's what it comes down to. So we sell uh, second-hand stuff here, more like vintage things. And, of course, also all the coma stuff. So here you have the field kit and the field kit effects, which we uh, just started shipping yeah, last week. I only briefly got to play with mine before ah, I left. you have one too. Very nice, yeah. Very yeah, jumped on the Kickstarter straight away. Nice. Oh, that's <laughs> great to hear. Uh, so yeah, we have all this stuff here floating around. People can try it out. People can be, uh, 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 yeah, can always come here and try it. Here's our colleague Robert. He just came back from the supermarket. Uh, uh, every day here in the coma office, we eat together, and uh, uh, one of us cooks. So today it's Robert's uh, turn. Vegan meal every day. See, you know, to keep to keep us healthy. All right. And then here we have a bunch of the DIY kits that we sell here in Common Ground. Uh, so stuff from Bastel Instruments, stuff from Bifaco, from our dear friend Snazzy. 
uh, some Arduino stuff and we try to always get new things that people can make and uh, so they can, uh, you know, ex expand their system by just building it themselves. And can people come and build here as well? Yeah, every, every kit that you buy here, uh, you can also build here for free. So we have these three desks um, with all the tools that you need to build any type of module uh, you want. And beer to a the uh, DIY building process. Exactly, because <laughs> things go a lot quicker with a beer next to it. Uh, this is the emptiest our fridge has been for a while. Uh, if you come here to our after party on Sunday, it will be full with like a full new selection. The beer <laughs> delivery should arrive today. Have we got some video synth? Yes, we got by the looks. video here from LZX too, and I believe next week we will we'll have all the LZX. Um, uh, DIY modules too, so people can also come and build videos in here. Up here on the Schnapps deck, uh, we have uh, also a whole uh, library of a lot of different books uh, about synthesis, a lot of magazines, uh, different uh, uh, like instruction guides, etc., and like stuff on uh, how to solder. So it's a place for everybody who likes uh, electronic music equipment, that likes to tinker with stuff, build things themselves. themselves. Uh, and it's also a nice place for performances, for workshops, that type of stuff. That's what we do here. Alright, I'll take you on a little tour of the office. Here's my colleague Susanna. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Susanna is in charge of, uh, of Common Ground and of all the workshops and all the stuff we're doing here. Uh, today, or well, this morning, I built uh, this beautiful device. Field kit guitar. It's the, the field guitar. <laughs> which consists out of uh, two, uh, the field kit, the field kit effects, powered by the Strom Mobil, which is then again powered by this uh, um, uh, power bank, battery oh, USB battery pack here. And then... Uh, uh, next to it is a transmitter, transmitter, so we can give this to people. It's the wireless cool. field guitar. Exactly. <laughs> this time around, it's fully wireless, and people can just play around with electroacoustic things. I literally just finished it before you guys came. <laughs> so that's why it's also a bit messy here. All right, uh, these are all the old broken synths, so you can also come here, just pick up one of these, and start fixing it. We usually sell this type of stuff between. 25 and 100 bucks, I would say. Uh, um, a chance to get a, a rare synth, potentially. Yes, if exactly, if you can fix it, because they all have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> well, a quick look in here, because this is our machine room. So we have our CD copier. We have a little oven to bake PCBs. A bunch of wood working tools. Uh, a CNC mill. Um, and this is all storage for the latest run, so we shouldn't use this for storage actually, but we end up always doing it. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know how it goes. For us, the office doesn't have to be very clean, it has to be practical. So it's, uh, you can't keep, you can't op keep workspaces clean anyway, so you, need, you want to keep it practical. Quick look in the kitchen. It's Just happening. as you said. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, cooking each day. All right, and now we end up in our uh, in our main office. Uh, this is where we uh, do a lot of office work. So this is where a lot of the designing process, uh, PCB layouting, like preparing orders, etc., takes place. We get so many uh, uh, boxes in here that we have started shredding every single one of them now because there was no <laughs> way that we could uh, that we could get rid of it. <laughs> so yeah, this is where we. Orders, weight orders, just stuff like that. So here's now all the stuff we need. These are field kit, whoop, field kit uh, FX uh, Eurorex that are going out. Here you see that they're fully checked. So there's a little check note on there because every unit we have to make sure, of course, that it fully works before we can ship it out. And then here are already all the orders for the Kickstarters that we'll leave this week. Uh, we uh, got 300 done now. Uh, wow. From 631 in two weeks. Wow. 
So we're on a roll and I hope to have another 75 to 100 out this week. Yeah. So yeah, this is all finished stock. Uh, so we have a lot of expansion bags and straw modules and well, yeah, down here is obviously everything we're going to be bringing to Super Booth this year. Yeah. So, Christian. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Christian and I started the company in 2011. Um, and he just walked in, I guess. All right. So, yeah, this is... Uh, oh, here, yeah, he got this... Uh, he got these stickers for this module that we're working on, which we can maybe do the, oh, okay. the, sne the very sneak peek, you know. I think I saw input there, game. People can start to try and guess what this I is. I think they already <laughs> see it there. You can already see it, right? There you go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I made sure that all the other prototypes are gone. Or at least should be fine. These, um, these modular users, they've, they're eagle-eyed. Yeah, totally. For they, secrets. They probably know all our secrets already by just <laughs> looking at that one photo. <laughs> so that's where usually where I work here on the corner. I'm the, uh, the how do you say that the the beekeeper of all the of all the paperwork. Uh, okay. Which hopefully doesn't fly out too much. Up here we have a lot of prototypes, so these are boards that we made for those power supplies that uh, we were talking about earlier, the Strom. So we keep a lot of also our PCB stencils up here, um, so we uh, uh, you know, always have them close by. So these are the stencils you put on a PCB and then you put the solder paste on it and then you put the parts on it and you can bake it in that oven that you just... So you entirely in-house, everything's manufactured in here now? Uh, we, uh, uh, we get all, every, well, these are prototype ones. So in the end, uh, all our boards are being made by a, by a factory in the end. Yeah. Because, you know, right now we're in the, in the thousands. So it doesn't make sense for us to solder every single one of them. Yeah. So we do all uh, assembly here, final assembly here. You'll see a bit of that uh, in a bit. Um, so we can keep uh, all the quality control here. We can pack it ourselves. We know exactly what goes in the box, and to make sure that you know there's not there's no mistakes sneaking into the process. Um, and we will keep on doing that too. Ah, oh yeah, this is one of the complex. Ah, oh yeah, here it doesn't even have a serial number, so it's really uh, it's super Robert's, rare. <laughs> it's Robert's uh, prototype complex. Yeah. A lot of boards, a lot of projects. Let's see, maybe I can show this to you because this, this I don't know if people have seen this before. It's the face mask area. <laughs> we will soon be changing this whole system, but for now, you can follow me. For now, this is the place where we have two robots. Um, we clip in contact microphones. We put these guys under it. Then uh, these machines go down, dip the contact microphones in plasti dip. Ah, so <laughs> you're actually yeah. cutting in the rubber yourselves. Exactly, so that's also a job that we do here. So down there you see all the... <laughs> yeah, and then here we, uh, we dip them in. So we made machines to, to automate our uh, plasti dip dipping of contact microphones. Because after 5,000 of them, you go completely crazy. <laughs> Anyways, you'll go completely crazy if you breathe it in, also this stuff. That's why it's uh, face mask only, you know? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's continue the journey. This is our uh, stock room for all metal parts. So what you see here is all the metal uh, front panels for each product that we make. From here, for instance, uh, the complex sequencer, you can see it through the... Yeah. So from the complex sequencer to FieldKit FX Eurorack panels to, you know, finished filters, SVF filters, cable hangers, all that stuff. So. We try to keep this only for metal parts. Yeah. 
Ah, they are just assembling the yeah. prototype sticker that you just saw. <laughs> because this is literally a few hours before super boot, so we have to make yeah. sure that it's all done. So this is our uh, um, development room, so we work on, on schematics and stuff in the front, we try out things. And this is the place where we go from idea to an actual first board or a product. Yeah. This is also where our little uh, 3D printer lives, although it's been uh, moving around a lot in the office. Um, yeah, I mean, you can see parts here if you want. <laughs> so, SMD ICs, all the capacitors organized nicely. And this is what we call the graveyard. <laughs> so these are all input-output boards from the BD and FT-201 pedals. Oh, this is like, look at that. This is the third generation BD-101. Ah! And this is uh, our XY controller that we once announced and never made. <laughs> and we still won't. <laughs> Just in case someone asks. Just in case somebody asks. What's that? What's that? I don't even know if people would actually uh, pause this video. Would you pause this video? Write in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> All right, these are Benjamin and Tony are working here in the production Hello. today. Hello. Uh, so, can we come in, Benjamin? Yeah, of course. Come in. Have a wait around. So, you and Tony are uh, uh, testing uh, FieldKit F Access. So what, is, what test are you doing right now? The CV number three for the looper. Okay. Could you explain how that works while I turn the audio down a bit? Uh, how it works. So basically the guys programmed this module and it sends information to the Arduino and then um, there's information going to the signal generator. So it tells the signal which, generator how much it should yeah, give you. Yeah, and we are reading like a hundred hertz sine wave here. That gets that gets sent in here into the field kit, and the field kit sends information out into this oscilloscope. And then I can read here if it does that what it should yeah. do or not. <laughs> so it's a semi-automated test. Yeah, exactly. So we, we kind of have to automate it to some extent, so we don't have to set all this machine the whole time, which will go completely crazy. Also, if you ever want to make a very nice, very, very small uh, Eurorack setup, <laughs> you can grab a field kit box, tear off the side, and, uh, <laughs> well, you get something like that, you know. That's um, good for those that buy the panel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, and this is then a, a, a half-tested field kit, so like just like the ones you saw before. Every time during pro production, we make sure that uh, we, we cross off what we have checked, so we always have a good overview of where we stand. These ones are done already? Non-tested. These, are, these done. are done. Oh yeah, so with these guys, you then see that they're also fully tested and ready to go out. Or well, to first put in boxes and then go out. And I think Benjamin is currently programming them. Okay. I mean, it's like, uh, I, I see a green command prompt. So usually that <laughs> that does mean serious business. <laughs> and another one, actually. So, and these are then all the different parts that we use for a lot of different products. So a lot of washers and foot switches. And... Oh, one of you should try to pick up this box. How many foot switches are in the box? I think a bit over a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> That's so incredible. Yeah. yeah. They could give you that back. Yeah, no, <laughs> because it's a lot heavier than you think. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, since we discontinued our pedals, if you're interested in a thousand foot switches. <laughs> 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 All right. Um, this is then the final bit of the tour. So this is mainly where we keep all the PCBs. So the other lager we keep for other um, um, warehousing area. 
uh, we keep all the boxes and the um, metal plates and here we keep all the PCBs um, so this is how they come in and we make sure that we always immediately write on it what it is um, I don't know, you want to see something? Yeah, we, we, well, we've got the, the uh, Glamour photo booth as well. Oh yeah, the Glamour <laughs> photo booth, yeah exactly. <laughs> uh, we do some videos here and some photos of different products. There's another one of those test stations that you just... Uh, oh, with the, the field kit, rip the sides off case. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, you know, we still sell them on our website if you're interested. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and uh, this is as clean as you get our office pretty much. It's like uh, we knew you guys were coming, so we cleaned up a bit. <laughs> so this is where all the, in the end, the products get made, uh, get shipped out from, and uh, uh, where we have our, uh, our headquarters. So whenever you hear from us, it's pretty much from this space. And uh, it's in the middle of... Uh, Neukölln in Berlin, so it's it's an area we also live in, so super nice to have been here now already for seven years. Not in this place, but a few, uh, few streets down. And then you're back in the shop again. Well, we look forward to uh, seeing the field guitar at Superbooth. We're going to come and try it. You should totally come and try it. It's the most fun. Swapping fretboards for springs. <laughs> Um, thanks for coming guys it's, yeah. uh, it's very nice to have you here I would like to invite everybody to come over uh, come uh, check out the shop uh, we hope to see you all uh, uh, at Superboot too and you know as long as you come with your shoes on and your shirt on we will serve you <laughs> <laughs> for beer <laughs> chill in the top <laughs> exactly Life is, uh, life is as fun as you make it yourself, you know. <laughs> Perfect. Well, we shall see you at Superboof. Totally. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>